We knew it was only a matter of time, after all, this is the most recklessly irresponsible administration in history. And at the very foundation of that recklessness is their complete lack of respect for basic facts, much less truth. The Washington Post broke the story in which the Trump White House praises ExxonMobil for increasing their investment in Gulf Coast states, including Louisiana and Texas. First of all, this is barely news and is certainly not newsworthy. After all, the programs Trump was touting were begun in 2013, a full four years ago. According to the Post. There is nothing new or newsworthy here, said Pavel Molchanov, energy analyst with the investment firm Raymond James. At the risk of stating the obvious, plenty of companies, across various industries, have been touting their U.S. job creation efforts in order to get on the Trump administration's good side, even when the underlying job creation has little or nothing to do with Washington policy. This is simply the latest example of that. The White House issued its statement only hours after ExxonMobil released its own, opening the door to side by side comparison. Nearly an entire paragraph was lifted word for word in the two releases. Another sentence was lifted later in the release. ExxonMobil statement excerpt. ExxonMobil is strategically investing in new refining and chemical manufacturing projects in the U. S. Gulf Coast region to expand its manufacturing and export capacity. The companies growing the Gulf expansion program consists of 11 major chemical, refining, lubricant and liquefied natural gas projects at proposed new and existing facilities along the Texas and Louisiana coasts. Investments began in 2013 and are expected to continue through at least 2022. White House statement excerpt. ExxonMobil is strategically investing in new refining and chemical manufacturing projects in the United States Gulf Coast region to expand its manufacturing and export capacity. The companies growing the Gulf program consists of 11 major chemical, refining, lubricant and liquefied natural gas projects at proposed new and existing facilities along the Texas and Louisiana coasts. Investments began in 2013 and are expected to continue through at least 2022. According to the Washington Post, requests for comments have gone unanswered from the White House. CNN reports a White House official admits to lifting the material without any citation the expansion program has many different components to it, and we went straight to the source for some of our information, the source commented.